Hey guys, today we are going to talk about my favorite lion in Magic, a Johnny, a Johnny D. Steadfast. Two main factors are influencing this price. The main fact, the first factor being he's actually very, very good in the new commander decks. So people are trying to pick him up. And the second factor is supply. So 2015, the core set came out with this a new Johnny. This is the only time he's been printed. You could argue that the San Diego Comic Con is kind of a reprint, but the supply on those sets are so low that I feel like he's only been in one set actually. So supply is extremely low. Demand is very high because there is a lot of commander players wanting to build the optimal deck and he is a very good Planeswalker in a Planeswalker themed deck. Now, to give you a better, a more in detailed analysis of a card like this, you have to look at the fact that Planeswalkers, generally speaking, have potential to spike given a new commander deck because people want love Planeswalkers. And they are EDH gold, so whenever a Planeswalker hits $5, let's say that you had this card, you played it in standard a little bit, it rotates out, it's now $6. You don't want to, you don't necessarily want to sell it at buy list or trade it away for $5. Now on the flip side, if your friends are trading cards out of rotation, one of the things that you should look for absolutely is Planeswalkers because they are extremely cheap once they rotate out. There are some very good ones in standard right now that I look at the price and I have to say, under $5 for these Planeswalkers, it's insane to me. OBN is not one of them I want, but outside of OBN and Kiora, because they were printed in the dual deck. I like the other ones. I like the other ones fine. Even the Nissa one, which is reprinted in the dual deck. That to me, I don't know. It, it's good enough. It's good enough. But definitely when you can, if you can pick up a Planeswalker for under $5 while it is still in standard, it is a long time hold. I have no concern if somehow I have accumulated a hundred of these Planeswalkers for under five dollars. A hundred Vraskas, although Vraska has been reprinted, because I know one day Vraska will be very good. Can I predict when that day will come? No, but I do know that eventually they'll make a Golgari commander, and that commander will push some of her skills, maybe her assassin ability, maybe letting you get assassins out really fast, and then she won't be the current price she is, which is a lot lower. The same with Johnny Steadfast. You look at him and you say, ah, oh, okay, right now he's not good. Right now no one wants him, but does he have the potential to be a very good card? And the answer to that is absolutely. He is going to be one. He's very good in that deck. And I luckily have my playset since then. If one of the cards you never want to get rid of, if you're stuck in rotation and the price is dropping and plummeting, is Planeswalkers because they do have the ability, unlike the majority, 99% of the regular cards that rotate out, to spike in price, to get to the original price you paid for them at. And you can get a ton of enjoyment, and that's really key. So Ajani Steadfast, just one example of many Planeswalkers that have the ability to go back to $20 at the blink of an eye, depending on what is printed in EDH. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Do you guys have copies of this? How much did you buy them for? How much did you sell them? Do you regret selling them? Uh, 2000, M2015 wasn't that long ago. I mean, literally it was just a year or two ago, but it does, you know, supply is very low in this type of planeswalker. Anyway, bye guys.